so the last class, uh, last video we have seen the what is meant by external fragmentation and internal fragmentation external fragmentation is nothing but the space or splitted then and there so what happens even if uh, the space is available in the memory uh, since the space is or memory space is splitted free space is splitted then and there we cannot we are not able to allocate for a process even if the memory is available since they are all fragmented internal fragmentation the one when a process is allocated so for example if you take this this 15k is free but a 10k space only a process needs in this when we press in this partition the remaining 5k cannot be allocated to any other process that is said to be the internal fragmentation so allocated memory may be slightly larger than the requested memory this size difference is memory internal to a partition but not being used for example consider this whole of uh, this byte suppose the process needs 18462 bytes this can be allocated have leaving a space of 2 byte free so then and that the, like this if it happened this itself become a big overhead so how to keep track of these small small memory if you add these small space memory that itself will give space for allocation of one process but keeping track of this whole is itself is a big overhead to reduce the external magnitude how you can reduce the external fragmentation is as we have seen compaction this memory this memory this memory all are pulled together down and all these process allocated spaces are moved up so that all these holes are combined that is what we call it as compaction to so shuffle memory contents but the problem is shuffle the memory content to place all free memory together in one large block compaction is possible only if relocation is dynamic because uh, why relocation because when this process is moved to this places again the memory space occupied physical address occupied by this process is different so in that case the base base register limit is everything will change for this so it uh, it has to be relocation is dynamic only this can be done then io problem when a uh, process which is present in this is involved in some io activities then moving this to this place will uh, will be a problem because in this space suppose 40k space is available while giving the io this may be occupied in this the physical address will be somewhere here but when the io request comes then it goes in this place where now this 40k process 40k process is there that is another process is there so which will lead to a problem because uh, because of this uh, so it is better to we should not move the one Uh, the which or which need the I O which or in the I O process. So that is a one problem here.